you remember back in 2016, Trump said he couldn't release his taxes because he was being audited? Well, in December 2022, Democrats in Congress released some of his tax returns they got from litigation. And a complimentary report revealed that Trump was still facing an ongoing audit from the IRS dating back years. The New York Times and the team at ProPublica, together with the help of tax experts who specialize in partnerships, found that Trump could be facing a potential tax bill of at least $100 million. After the IRS concluded that Trump reported the same losses twice for the Chicago Tower. So when I saw this, I was like, the audit's still going on? And with so many other Trump news, why does this matter now? So I'm going to talk to ProPublica's Paul Keel, who's covered Trump and his businesses, to see what's up. There's a lot of information in these documents, like, but why could Trump be facing a potential $100 million uh, tax bill? Well, Trump famously loves tax losses. That's one you know, good side effect of having some deals that maybe don't go the way you want. And this is about the Chicago Tower. It's a massive 92-story tower. It's the, one of the biggest things ever built. And it went sideways, but he found a way to not only declare some tax losses, he, he found a way to magnify those tax losses to the extent that the IRS has has basically said that he he double dipped. He tried to take the same losses twice. And so how did y'all find out about this and come to this conclusion? So we're able to piece this together from various different sources. One is actually a public legal memo that the IRS did that had anonymous details. And so no one knew it was about Trump, but we were able to piece together that it was about Trump um, together with some tax information that we have, leaked tax information that we used to do lots of different stories about wealthy Americans. And then um, also the fact that he, um, in 2008, uh, declared his interest in the company that owned the tower worthless, which was a pretty bold move, and that, that had come up in the uh, New York Attorney General's case against him that uh, recently resulted in a judgment. So we put all those kind of pieces together and were able to tell the story. So $100 million is a lot of money, but what can we expect to judgment, and why is this important now? So, I mean, Trump has been saying forever that he, you know, when he was running for president in 2016, he said he couldn't release his tax returns because he's being under audit. But the details of that audit have been basically not known for a long time. So this is the most we've ever known about what the IRS has actually been poking around on. And it, this is an audit that was going on while he was president. You know, it's a very unique, uh, important situation. Going forward, fortunately, the things we don't know is like what the current status of it is. We knew that it was being audited still about a year ago. We're not sure what's happening now or when he might get um, hit with the judgment. Our system does allow taxpayers a lot of chances to appeal and that sort of thing. So that, that still could be going on. Check out all the details ProPublica and the New York Times found about the story and more about Trump's businesses at the link in bio.